Hello guys, you are welcome to the GMAT 41's YouTube channel. In this video, I want to quickly demonstrate how someone can determine the focal length of a convex lens. A convex lens is also called a converging lens. What does this lens do? A convex lens or converging lens, what it does is to converge light, rays of light, okay? is to bring parallel rays of light to a point and that point we call it the principal focus of the lens so with me i've got this convex lens otherwise known as converging lens a convex lens is thicker at the middle but then when you are going towards the edge it will become thinner to become thinner, is that okay? So, because it is thicker at the middle, what it does, due to the high density at the middle of this convex lens, when rays of light are passing through, the rays of light will be drawn, will be dragged towards the center. So, if the rays of light are going this way, all right, they just move in parallel. Once they hit this surface, because the middle, all right, is thicker than the edges, what this convex lens, this converging lens will do, as the rays of light are moving straight and parallel, the, the converging lens will drag the, the rays of light to the center. So the rays will move this way parallel and they come this way. Are you following, right? Meeting at a point. The point where the rays of light will meet is what we call the principal focus of the lens. By definition, the principal focus of the lens is simply the point where rays of light appears to converge for converging lens or convex lens, which is what I'm going to demonstrate, or the point where the rays of light appears to diverge, scatter from. Is that okay? Or uh, that is done by a concave lens, also known as diverging lens. That's not our focus in this experiment anyway. I uh, just want to demonstrate this idea of determining focal length of a convex lens. So with me is a lens holder, okay, this is a lens holder. So I'm going to mount this convex lens on this lens holder. Alright, so the lens holder will hold it for us, you can see that, good. And now with me is my screen, I'm using these as a screen. So if I focus ray of light on it, the image of whatever object, I'll be seeing it here. Is that okay? Good. Then, of course, this is my ray box. My ray box. Okay, when I am done determining the approximate focal length of this lens, I'm now going to use this ray box. Inside the ray box, there will be light in it, okay? I know, perhaps, because of the rays of light from here, you may not see it clearly. But anyway, it doesn't really matter. So I'm going to uh, channel light through inside here. Okay, you can see that. Then if you watch here, you would notice that I've got cross wires, okay, through this place. So that cross wire will be my object when I start the experiment. So when the rays of light from inside this ray box is coming out through this opening, a hole, an aperture, it's going to focus the image of the object inside, which is the cross wire. So we focus it, all right, through this lens. So the lens will now converge the rays of light passing through this cross wire. Once it converges it, okay, the image of the cross wire will be formed on this screen. Then all I have to do is to measure the object distance, the object in this case is this ray box, the cross wire, the point of the cross wire. And then of course I'll measure the image distance. The image distance is the distance between the screen and the convex lens. The object distance is the distance between the object, which of course is this ray box, and the convex lens. So that's just the whole idea of this experiment. Quickly, let's uh, move on to see how we can determine the approximate focal length of this lens, okay, to determine it, I'm going to use 
this window pane. Is that okay? Uh, you know, rays of light are coming through this window. So what I am trying to do now is I will focus the image of this object, okay? Through this lens, I'm going to focus it on the screen. Then I will get a sharp image of this window pane. If I get a sharp image of this window pane, the distance between the screen and the lens is going to be our approximate focal length of this lens. It is this approximate focal length we are now going to test to see if actually through normal experimental procedure, if we are going to get, if not exactly the value of the approximate focal length, something around that value. Of course, errors are expected when someone is running an experiment. So even though we don't get the exact approximate focal length I'm going to obtain now, is that okay, by uh, this method of focusing the image of this window pane on the screen through the lens. Even though we don't get it exactly, we expect to get something within that value. So let me get to business. You see, I've set up this uh, uh, meter rule, okay, with my record stand. I've clamped it so that I can use it. All right, so this is what I'm going to do. This is my lens holder. So by the side, I'm going to place this screen. Let me place it at 10 centimeter point of the meter rule. Then the lens holder, I'm going to make sure that rays of light through this window passes this lens so that the lens will focus it on this mirror. I'm sorry, I know because of my position, you may not be seeing this clearly. But all the same, just get the whole idea of what I'm about to demonstrate. Okay? And so, we go. Now, I've gotten this window pane. So all I have to do now is, I'll be moving this lens to and fro between this screen and the window pane. Why my eye, you know, will be in this screen here, so that once I get a sharp image of this window pane, then I would record the distance between the lens and the screen. So let us go. I'm seeing the image of this window pane on the screen now, but I am going to move this so as to get the brightest image, okay? All right, it's getting much more brighter, much more clearer, but not as I want it yet. Let's see, going backward now, okay? You can see that it's getting more clearer. Oh, this is good. This is good. Wonderful. From my observation here, I've seen what I can consider as the sharp image of the window pane. All right? Good. So at this point, I'll measure the distance between the lens and the screen. The lens is at 20 centimeter mark of the meter rule, measuring from the left side because it's the same measurement from the left that I used in getting the point where I placed the screen. I placed the screen at 10 cm of the meter rule. And so, in getting the sharp image of the object, I observed that the lens is at 20 cm mark of the meter rule. So the approximate focal length of this convex lens is the distance between where I placed the screen and where the lens is, that is 10 and 20 respectively. The difference between them or the distance between them will be 20 minus 10, which gives me 10 centimeter. Good. So the approximate focal length of this lens is 10 centimeter. Knowing this, I'm going to test it through experimental procedure if actually it is so. 
we are going to carry out experiments using object distance of 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45 centimeter distance between this ray box and this lens. Now, quickly, let me show you the experimental setup. And I've told you the distance between the uh, object, the ray box, and, of course, the lens, which, like I said, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, and 45. Uh, instead of using a ray box, a candlelight can be used. The whole idea is let us get something that could be a source of illumination, a source of light. Okay? So while I'm using this ray box with a light inside, someone may choose to use a candle. In either case, all of them are sources of light. Okay, so let us get to business. Uh, I'll show you the experimental setup, how it's going to be like, and then uh, just quickly, I will bring out the table of value from what I'm going to obtain, and then we'll see what the graph is going to be like. And of course, certain questions that we might be asked to uh, answer based on this experiment. For example, maybe things about getting the focal length from the graph we are going to plot and other stuff like that. So this is how the experimental setup looks like in carrying out the experiment so as to determine the um, focal length of this lens, which of course you're going to compare with what I obtained when I focused it, uh, focused the image of the window pane on this lens. So you see this, where our object is, I'll take note of the measurement, this meter rule, please. Let me lift it a little, okay? It's meter rule, 100 centimeter. So uh, the instrument would be by the side because you need to get your measurement recorded. From this object to this lens is the object distance. So based on the instruction that we are going to receive, which of course has to deal with um, talking about the object distance 15 cm, 20 cm, 25 down to 45, 5, 5 difference. Uh, the first I like to place this meter rule, okay, uh, such that the object is at the zero centimeter mark. Then, of course, the object distance, okay, is going to be 15 cm for the first experiment, which means that the length will be brought to a point of 15 centimeter. So it's there, 15 centimeter now. Is that okay? And um, so let's see, yeah, it's there at 15 centimeter. So what I'm going to do now is, I'll be moving this screen to and through, okay, until I get a sharp image of the cross wire. Does that make sense, right? Good. So once you get a sharp image of the cross wire, uh, let's see. Correct. Now what you have to do is to measure the distance between this lens and this screen. The distance between the lens and the screen gives us the image distance. So in this case, at 15 centimeter, I've gotten the image distance, which is the distance from this point of 15 centimeter to where the screen is. I hope it's clear, right? And of course, based on what I can see here, the distance is 21 cm. That is from this point to this point, from where the lens is to where the uh, screen is. From the measurement, you always measure from the middle from the middle of the lens and the screen, take notes. So that is 21 centimeter, the difference between them, the length between. So all I'm going to do is to record, are you following right? Object distance, 15 cm, image distance V, 21 centimeter. So the next thing I'm going to do is to carry out the second experiment where the distance between the object, that's the ray box in this case, um, and the lens is going to be 20 centimeters. So I'll move the lens to 20 centimeters. 
gauge. And then again, I'll adjust this, okay, to see where I will get the sharp image of the cross wire in this ray box. Gauge. I've obtained it at this point. You measure the distance between the screen and the lens. So this is practically how you carry out the experiment. You record the object distance u. You, you record your image distance. Remember, the object distance is the uh, distance or the length between the box, ray box, which like I said, some persons may this candle, whatever the case is, and the lens. So the distance between them gives us the value of u, object distance, and then the distance between the lens and the screen gives us uh, the image distance, v. Alright, so um, I'm going to complete this with the table of values. I'll show you the table of values and, uh, of course, the graph. But let me just say this quickly, please. Let me say this quickly. That approximate value of the focal length that I obtained, we can actually also carry out an experiment to get it. Now, this is what, what someone can do, which I suggest, I don't forget it, right? Uh, because it can also help the person to be fast, rather than focusing the image of uh, a window pane through the lens on the screen. One can decide to just do the experiment on the table like this to get the approximate focal length. Just your first time experiment. What do you do? Your object can be at point zero and then you place this lens between the object and the screen. And so what do you do in that case? Move the screen and get the image position. Now, when you get the image position, what you now have to do is to record the distance between the lens and the screen, which will give you V, and the distance between the object and the, the screen, which will give you uh, your U. And once you do that, then of course, you use your lens formula. 1 over F equal to 1 over U plus 1 over V. Is that okay? So if you do this, you calculate the focal length, fix the values you obtained. Once you get the focal length, then you can record that as the approximate focal length of the lens before you start carrying out your experiment. I'm also going to tell you quickly how you can decide to get the image distance because once you get your focal length and you know the object distance, you can actually run the, uh, maybe get your image distances without carrying out the full experiment. I'm going to tell you that shortly.